former federal prosecutor. He joins us now from our Washington bureau. Thanks for your time. Hi, Morella. Good to be with you. Are we getting a bit of a look ahead to how Hmong's lawyers are going to fight extradition, uh, talking about comments made by Donald Trump? We sure are, Morella. So e even in the run of the mill extradition, when the U.S. Justice Department tries to extradite anyone for anything, it's always a slow process that requires a lot of work. In a case like this, where there's so much political charge so much attention, so much high-powered lawyers now involved. Yes, we are absolutely seeing a preview of what's going to be a hard-fought extradition. And the number one argument that Ms. Meng and the, basically the country of China are going to make is that this is a political prosecution, that this is not a righteous prosecution, that this is nothing more than it's, it's not about Huawei, it's not about Ms. Meng, it's about the U.S. trying to get some kind of a competitive advantage against China and basically protect U.S. interests. Now, the U.S. is going to push back on that. They're going to say, no, no, this is a righteous prosecution. This is a company that's been involved with fraud, you know, bank fraud, wire fraud, theft of trade secrets, and purportedly, Ms. Meng allegedly has been involved in that. So it's going to be a very hard-fought battle, and Canada is going to find itself basically in the middle of this. Joseph, as you know, part of the problem is the American president is not a man who's careful with his words, and he has uh, tied this particular case to the trade deal that they're working on with China, which already seems to present a bit of a question and some raised eyebrows. Well, that's going to be the number one argument that Ms. Meng's lawyers are going to make. And we saw a preview of that today. We'll see definitely see more on May 8th. They're going to say, look, this prosecution was not brought because of the quality of the evidence or the legal theory or whatever it is that the laws that are alleged have been violated here. This was brought to basically give the U.S. an advantage and that the president has dabbled with the idea that he could pull the prosecution and allow Ms. Meng to return to China if, in fact, the U.S. got some kind of a concession. So that's going to be the allegation. It's going to be repeated time and again because the president's own words, as they often are, are going to be used against him. So unfortunately, that's the position that we're going to be in. And it's going to be, again, a, a long, hard fought battle about the fate of this woman. So let me ask you, uh, with your experience, whether or not Donald Trump can, has the authority to pull this uh, off the table, this uh, extradition request, if he's happy with the trade deal? So the president is the head of our executive branch. He appoints the attorney general. He appoints the key positions within the Justice Department. He appoints the United States attorneys that basically run these cases. So the president does have a lot of authority over which cases are pursued by our Department of Justice. That being said, there's supposed to be an arm's length relationship between our political leaders in the White House and our career prosecutors at the Justice Department. So could the president do this? Theoretically, yes. Should the president do this? That's a different question, because we really like to avoid any any indication that our prosecutions here in the U.S. are directed by our, pres our political leaders, right? They're supposed to be brought based on the righteousness of the case, based on the quality of the evidence, based on what the charges are, not based on political, economic, trade implications of a prosecution. So I'm going to hope that the Justice Department and the FBI, I have a lot of confidence, will be able to defend this case and say, look, no, there is evidence here. There's evidence of wrongdoing. These are real charges that would have been brought regardless of the political situation. But that's going to be the battleground on which this is fought. Got it, Joseph Moreno, sir. Appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us tonight. Sure, Marilla. Happy to be here. We are going to take a quick break. Back in a moment.